Hi everyone, my name is Mick and I'm here to talk to you about audits and continual improvement. The CQC will look at five key areas when they inspect and rate your business. They will check whether your business is safe, effective, caring, responsive and whether or not you're well led. As a rule, audits and continual improvement fall into the well led area but they'll cross over into the safety element from time to time too. If you want to achieve outstanding for audits and continual improvement in your next inspection, then here are 10 top tips for you. Tip number one, when you carry out an audit, make sure you complete it. Listen to what it's telling you and act on anything you've learned from it. Tip number two, make sure all actions are completed by assigning responsibility to someone setting a deadline and following it up. Tip number three, make sure you have a robust overview of the care that's being provided. If it takes an inspector to identify areas in need of improvement, then your service isn't outstanding. Tip number four, make sure that your quality assurance and governance systems are effective and allow you to identify any improvements that need to be made. Tip number five, learn from any feedback given in complaints and use them to improve the overall quality of your service. Don't forget to celebrate success too. Tip number six, record and monitor any changes that have resulted in service improvements and ask yourself, what's the impact been to your employees and the people using your service? Tip number seven, Run regular surveys with employees, service users and their relatives. After all, who knows your business better than the people that use it and work there? Don't just run the survey, make sure you learn from its findings too. Tip number eight. If you haven't already, think about ISO accreditation. This will help to support and maintain a high standard of quality for your business. Tip number nine. Measure and review the delivery of your care against current guidance. Are you aware of current best practices and changes in the care sector? And how do new guidelines and procedures impact on the service you provide? Last but not least, tip number 10. How do people speak about your management? Is it positive? If not, what can you do to change this? If you need help with anything we've discussed, please give us a call on 0345 844 11 11. Thanks for listening.